Trying to figure this out. <laughs> so we're doing um, an experiment. Hopefully, hopefully you can see this. I don't know. It's a rainy day today, and I I thought we might as well test out my um, rainy day tent. Donnie's over there. I think he's in the car at the car, I'm not sure. We're gonna give away a painting if anyone's here a, l a little bit later. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Misha. The ducks came running. I don't know if you can see them, but they're like following Donnie. The ducks are following Donnie because they think he's going to feed them. So. So we're going to give away a painting in a little while, um, and it's a it's a beautiful one too. See the ducks are following Donnie. <laughs> they um, they like the food. They want to be fed. <laughs> Hi Russo. Hi, don't know. Hi, Cher. So we're going to test this little tent thing out here t today. It's been raining all day. Donnie worked this morning for a little while. And then um, uh, we didn't feel like just going over to Dollywood and walking around in the rain today because it's, it's um, an opening day for the general public. And I, we have walked around at Dollywood in the rain. It's just we prefer to do it on days when it's um, not a big crowd. It's just easier. <laughs> yeah, those ducks are like, as soon as they find out that he's got food, we'll put the food out here in a, in a little bit. But he's setting up this tent thing. Yeah, you are. Uh, it's an experiment. experiment. You, you, you put experiment. the title. Experiment. Oh. At last second, Mr. Coast Guard, start the adventure. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Coast Guard. What's wrong with your adventure system? Yeah. So I'm going to back this up just a little so you can see what he's doing. I, I bought never this. I've never this. This I've is. Never opened it. Um, I have no we've idea had this inside. in the car. We've had this in the car for a little while. Um, we've never opened it yet. Never opened it. I don't smell any mold or anything. It smells good. It smells a little bit like diesel fuel. Like I have a diesel supplement bottle in the car for the bug. It leaked a little bit. It's got a cute little bow tie here. All right. See the okay, there's, the, there's the tip stakes. There's the directions. <laughs> Who needs directions? <laughs> I only use directions if everything all else fails. All right, so it does not have a floor, so I'm glad I brought this drop cloth. I think I'll unfold this one more time. Ugly old drop cloth. This canvas drop cloth.
ducks are like, what? We gotta wait for the tent to be put up. We'll never get to eat. <laughs> I know how humans in tents are. Oh boy. Okay, it's up. <laughs> My imagination said this was going to be something easy. Yeah, like one of those tents you just go poof and it goes boom. Yeah, I kind of thought it might be something like that, but maybe, I guess that's, not. That's, we have one like that that's called a clam. Oh, but you should have seen us the first time we put the <laughs> clam up. We just started I laughing because it was absolutely ridiculous. I actually recorded it, but the video is somewhere on my storage. I have to find it some day and post it because it's really oh, funny. You, you'd have one of those Keystone Cop music playing behind us setting that one up. Ah. So the sticks are behind another knotted piece of... The uh, duck food is in that bucket right there. I'm getting really close to looking at the directions. Uh, yep, I'm looking at the directions. All right, it says manual. Insert the fiberglass rods into sleeves. All right. Hi, Christy. We are silly people. <laughs> adventurous, though. This is an, an adventurous thing to do. Get knotted up here. I'm glad it's not raining real hard. I'm not going to build a cabin by the time I get this up. Ah, looks like these come together. Okay. Chrissy said, what in the world are you doing? Um, we're, we're, we're testing. I wanted, it's been raining all day. And we were going to go to Dollywood. Donnie worked this morning. And then it just rained, rained, rained all day. So I didn't feel like walking around Dollywood in the rain. So I said, let's test out our um, our tent thing and see if it works. <laughs> so this tent thing is all... Wow. All right, so there's two, two sets of rods. Hi, Gerhard. All connected. So there's two sets. Here's the directions. Pretty much useless. Pretty much useless. <sighs> Pretty much useless. Hi, Diane. <laughs> yeah, the ducks are trying to help. There's actually um, a creek right here, right behind this little, these little, um, whatever these little plants are. Sticker. They're, these are sticker, sticker plants. They got, look, thorns on them. And right behind that is a, is a, uh, a mountain creek. The ducks decided to go for a swim. <laughs> it's perfect weather for ducks. Yeah, ducks like this kind of weather. 
I can't even tell the top from the bottom. Donnie actually brings corn down here to feed the ducks, so as soon as we pulled up, they came running. <laughs> Well, he's looking at the directions. I'll show you right there. Right there is a little mountain creek. I'll show you what. I'm not finding any kind of sleep. This is this is me. This is me standing over a camp of all these doing something. I have a feeling we're gonna be holding this over. I am not Here finding goes my phone drop. Oh my goodness. You know that only happens because you walked away. I walked away and the phone fell over. Rain's <laughs> down. You better wipe off that lens. Let me see. Aha! I found the sleeve. <laughs> oh. It is. Yeah, it is uh, windy and cold here. Let me see. I don't think the, I don't think anything got on the lens. Hopefully, I can't. It looks, it looks good to me. <laughs> yeah. The problem was the tripod legs weren't all the way out. They weren't locked in. You push that back leg down a little bit into the mud or something. The tripod legs weren't all the way locked in. Oh, it was the leg, not the... Yeah. Uh, thank you, we make all our mistakes. Christy said it's going down in the 30s for her tonight. See, there's... <laughs> when I looked at the radar, though, I thought it was over with. It looked like it was over with when I looked at the radar, but... Hi, Teresa. <laughs> We might have to buy one of those kind that just flips open, but those are a lot more money. I thought I would try yeah. this. <laughs> now I know why they're a lot more money. <laughs> there must be another sleeve to go in or something. Oh, I 
interesting report. Thanks for joining us, Christy. She's got to go um, put up the chickens and start her generator so she can charge her phone. Some people will be putting up their Christmas trees before I get this thing up. Bear Hug said we're going to down to the 30s tonight also. Oh, really? <laughs> I think I'm his guessing. coat is keeping him dry, though. I think Donnie's coat is keeping him dry. Yeah. Donnie, Donnie is um, Coast Guard, so he he's not afraid of water. <laughs> as long as I'm warm. <laughs> oh. Teresa said it's supposed to go down in the 30s in Kentucky, too. <laughs> I, thought, I thought winter was over. It seemed like winter was over. I the, could be driving, the trees could are be budding. driving Pigeon Forge right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was another experiment, too. I was testing the, the hot spots. I just... I just um, paid for some data on the hot spot. I could be putting this together. There's a fight long. going on there. <laughs> the ducks got smart and said, we're not eating anytime soon. They are fighting over we there. we got to go find food. They're getting after each other right there. All right. All right. So these two Maybe that's why that one duck is by himself a lot. Yeah, they, the white ones are pretty dominant, I guess. Yeah. Because that... we got three dark ones and two white ones. This duck over here, this one duck over here by the swing set, walking, he kind of is by himself quite a bit. Boy, those white ducks over there, they got an attitude. <laughs> There's no directions with this thing, by the way. Whatever directions they thought they were given. I'm shaking the rain off the top of my umbrella. That's why it looks like it's raining harder every now and then. It could be that the darker duck is a male and then and then the white duck is a male or something. I kind of feel sorry for the one duck. <laughs> Let's buy himself. I, I I don't know. I I have a thing for. Me and Donnie have a thing for like rejection, you know. So if something feel seems like it's being rejected, we're kind of we have a heart for it. <laughs> Hand me that painting. You want to hand me that painting? The painting, honey. I know, but I just want to show you these directions. That's it. One piece of paper. Manual sport. Tent, probably. I can't see the last word. Manual sports shelter. Now, that's what it's supposed to look like when you're done. But it doesn't say anything about how to set it up or anything. So I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'll have fun doing it. Looks like you, you do one this way and one that way, and then you lift it from the middle. Hi, Darcy. We're trying to put up this. Um, we're trying to put up this little tent thing. We wanted to test it out. Oh, she could help. They put up tents all the time. Yeah, Donnie said if you were here. You guys would get it done. In a little while, to somebody who's in here in the chat, 
we're going to give away a painting. That's the painting right there. So this is one of Donnie's original paintings. So we're going to give it away to someone who's in the chat in a little while. Tent, Darcy, I have no idea. <laughs> no, it's not a regular tin. It's just one of those things that's supposed to keep you from the the rain and stuff. If you're watching like a a sports game or something like that. The wind's helping me figure it out, I think. <laughs> Bear Hug said, Mama Two Hair is thinking Donnie needs your help. And Darcy sets up, Darcy and her husband set up tents all the time. <laughs> Look at this, I'm caught. All right, I found the other side. <laughs> Cher said, so far it ain't working. <laughs> I feel like a, a monkey chasing a football. Bear hug said, okay, LOL, up. share. It's about the time for the wind to come and blow it away. <laughs> I might have to buy, I'm, I'm probably going to have to buy one of those pop-up ones. If you want me to get out in the rain, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you think this is, <laughs> if you think this is something, you should have seen us trying to put the clam tent together. It yeah. was, it was one, it's one piece. It is one piece and it, it was huge and um, you could actually put a whole big bed inside of it. It was huge and uh, <laughs> for us trying to put that together, we were laughing and I don't remember laughing. <laughs> I think I was pretty mad at first. I was laughing. I we was laughing. Out we were trying to open it upside down. Then all of a sudden I wasn't so mad. I realized. Where's Jason when we need him? <laughs> it's in Virginia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fairhug said, rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. <laughs> Darcy said, uh, you should unhook the sides and put both pegs in uh, like an X. Then uh, Joy will pick up one side and Donnie pick up the other at the same time uh, then 
hook the sides into the clips. Hi, Roy and Maria. The benefit of you all being here is one of you is going to win a painting <laughs> for watching us do this silly stuff. <laughs> this silly experiment. That's the painting right there. But one person is going to win. One person in the chat in a little while will win that. He's trying to put this little, it's a little, um, a little tent that you put up and you set underneath. It's not like a tent that you sleep in. It's just like a tent that uh, you can watch a sports game or something like that in. I bought this. It didn't cost very much money. And no I thought, kidding. and I Maybe thought, laughing when you bought this, <laughs> they'll never set that thing up. And I, I thought, well, we could try this because there's times when we like to go out and, um, and it might be raining. So this would at least protect our head from the rain was my thinking. I did not know that the uh, pet, whatever those things are. I didn't know they weren't attached. <laughs> I thought it was like one piece. Where I'm really said, good idea, Joy. Shares that Donnie is waterlogged. I hope I don't end up in the pond here. Well, don't back up. <laughs> mm. Donnie's Mr. Coast Guard, you know, so he doesn't mind water, but he does not want to fall in the pond. It's cold out. <laughs> it looks like when you get it up, you put the bottom feet in a pocket. So right. So it doesn't spring out again. Do you, do you need me to do something? Hmm? Do you need me to do something? Yeah, I think it's time for me to get inside and hold it up. And then what you want to do is... Um, this is a duck pond, yeah. They had a snapping turtle in here a couple of years ago, and it had taken out all their ducks, and they got new ducks, which are right over here. Well, it took out a one or two, but the... some wild dog came by and took out the other ones. And so... Feral. Hey, ringy dingy. At least we're adventurous, you know, and we like to try new things. <laughs> try, try things, you know, that might help the, um, help us to do different kinds of vlogs and stuff. Hey, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie says, is Donnie blowing up a, a raft? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Cher oh. said, this has drawn quite a crowd. <laughs> oh. Roy and Maria said it was fun playing trivia game again. We're going to do another one pretty soon, Roy and Maria. Hi, Rhonda. Okay. He's starting to get it. Right. Do you, do you need it. me to hold something? I, yeah, I need this, this pocket right here to go at the end of this post. If I hold this up here, can you put it in your car? Oh, do you want to hold up the tent? If I hold this up here? Yeah, you, you know, you're going to have to have both hands to hold it up. Oh, 
Crisscross. Yeah. I think a little rain got on the camera, but it's fine. <laughs> he is getting it together, so. <laughs> They're all cheering you on, saying, you almost got it. <laughs> yeah, getting close. I'm about that far away. Now, see, it has screen. This, like, on the two ends, there's a piece of screen, and on the back, there's a piece of screen. So it's not... It's like not... These, here, these go up in here, I think. It's meant to kind of, kind of shade the top of your head from either the sun or, or a little bit of the rain or something, but if it rains sideways, you know, it could rain because that screen right there. I'm just a few inches away from getting it to stick it out here. Oh, I'm going to break it. Yeah. All right. So, I was thinking this thing is going to poke a hole in this. This can't be right. Well, it turns out I think the key, this is what the key is for. You're supposed to put this key up inside this post. Like that. That key goes up inside the post. And then maybe that goes in there because that won't poke through. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I could just find out why I'm under tension here. Maybe this goes on the other side of this one. See, I'll have to get one of those pop-up ones, because I, I would never be able to do this by myself. Yeah. Clam shell, right? Oh, well, just, no, even just one of those pop-up ones, you know, that, you, that folds up into a circle. And then you just kind of open yeah. it up and it flings open. We got one that does that for kitty, a kitty, kitty house. Ah, that was hooked up to the wrong one. Okay, so then. Del Noah said, listen to the rhythm of the falling rain. <laughs> Telling me just what a fool I've been. <laughs> Oh. I'll never put this tent uh, again. All right. Did you have the wagon out or is it still in? Nothing to sit on? Nothing to sit Oh, grab some of their chairs. They're probably what? Oh, there's some over there under the um, covering. Grab, yeah, grab well, a I chair. brought yours. You want me to use yours then? Uh, no. Well, I don't care. Grab the one. It's just easier if you go grab their chairs. It sure is. Yeah. Tommy's ready for easier. They got, they got a, they got, some of their chairs are out here and they're wet. But there's a couple of them under the roof over there.
And we'll put some food out here for the ducks in a minute. We're going to grab, yeah, he, he brought my one chair. And then we have our wagon, our, our wagon lounge in the car. But instead of getting it out in the rain, he's just going to grab a couple of those chairs sitting over there. Those ducks right there, the white tail, the white ducks, they were wagging their tails when they saw saw us come up here. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Rhonda, you can't text to a, a long text and chat. It's it, like I don't know how many characters it has, but it it stops at a certain point it won't let you check anything too long oh Annette I'm so sorry she has to send her dog over the rainbow bridge all, the, all of us that are dog people Annette are, are very heartfelt uh, compassionate towards that issue because um, we've done it I've had to, in the past, have somebody else do it for, for us because at the time we were fighting a battle to keep our um, giant schnauzer um, alive. She had, she had um, cancer and we were doing all kinds of natural things for her. So we were taking care of her, but our... Um, our dog, who was uh, 17 years old, our mi our mini schnauzer, and um, he was, uh, you know, he. I've always he, regretted that too. He kind of got in bad shape uh, right there at the end, you know, and so we just had to we had to have a friend, you know, take him for us and and that was a good friend and he was totally willing to do it but emotionally we just couldn't do it at the time yeah i kind of regret it not being there for him at the last moment coming around okay so this is kind of the the gist of what it is i'm putting a few stakes in the ground here That'll hook that in. But we've had to put down uh, many, many, or, or Donnie did really. I, I don't. I really couldn't. I really couldn't do it myself. But I did take a dog to the vet one time in an emergency, and uh, she she uh, didn't make it, and I was just blown away, devastated. Wipe the seats off. Now I can rattle the bag and ducks will come back. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Put, the, put the garbage back in the bucket. <laughs> they be lining? Not yet. Okay, now they are. They're coming. <laughs> you putting the camera in the tent? Yeah. And staring out at the pond? Yeah. Out in the direction of the feed. Oh, there we go. So I have a, a gift that was given to me I want to show you all that I received at the um, chuck wagon cook-off. And 
I want to put a little plug in for him. Here's the best. <sighs> He's one of our viewers. Yes. And he does um, uh, something called Festus and Friends at Memory Theater. Now, right now, he's just emceeing and part of the show. Doesn't have his own particular show going right now. It's the off-season. And uh, so... Uh, Move your foot, honey. I don't want to... Over. It's the off season. So we met him last year at the chuck wagon thing and didn't even know who he was. And he gave us these stirrups, which I've still got. Didn't know what I was going to do with them, but he's just a giver. And it was like, you know, give you something and you don't know what to do with it. But, you know, one day you'll use it as a decoration or something. And uh, so... Um, uh, and it was on our chuck wagon cook-off last year where he gave us that gift and uh -huh. then, uh, yeah we didn't even know him and so this year he and, was a part of the show though yeah it was a part of the show this they year. upped it this year that chuck wagon cook-off it's going to be really big next year because people are going to remember what happened this year and if you know if you know uh gun smoke that show gun smoke this guy looks just like festus and he sounds just like festus he's an actor yeah he's he's a professional He's lived his life as a professional actor, and he... An impersonator. Impersonator, yes. He does, like, 70 voices. So, if you watched the Chuck Wagon Cook-Off live stream from this year, and I'm going to put out the, um, the video of it, too, of just that part. He and Donnie went back and forth doing... Um, um, voices. Vo dueling voices. Yeah. Do I was thinking of the word dueling. I couldn't figure out what it was. Well, the only way I I did a little bit better John Wayne than he did. He had John's mannerisms better than I know. <laughs> well, I don't practice like he does. Oh, some of two hey, of them left Ed, already. Ed said, look, everyone, a bed and breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Oh, they, Darcy said, they're happy now. Yum, yum. We had uh, two... We had about 20 minutes of bantering back and forth and doing voices, and he did Bill Clinton, and he did um, all, a lot of the stars and Reagan and the presidents and and all that. Did a really good job with uh, Forrest Gump. He beat my Forrest Gump. He was as good as I am at Forrest Gump. Ed said, those ducks are going to be very happy. You and Donnie put them up a cover. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm surprised the other two left already. But uh, Roy Maria said, tell Donnie he did a good job. I'm telling you, uh, I'm dry now. And there is a big puddle on the top of the roof that's not dripping in, so. Everyone is is telling Annette they're sorry that she has to put down her, her dog. Did we meet that dog? No, we didn't meet they her didn't dog. Travel. She didn't bring it her didn't... dog with her. No, it didn't bring her dog with her. Yeah, that's tough. They... They love you really so much. Enough. They just don't know how to let you go. You gotta, you gotta just and just be with them. Let them be. Let your face be the last face they see until they see you again in heaven. Is the duck that was getting, like by itself? Is it over here he, eating? Yeah, he's already ate and left. This one looks like he's done too. So that's good. I'm glad they got their fill. They'll probably come back and pick at this some more. I don't know if the white ones I are can. just greedy or hungrier. <laughs> but I want those to tell you... Two, those two white ducks are pretty dominant. So this year, since we got to banter back and forth, and he took our cards, and he wants to he spend some... He took Donnie's phone number. number yeah, phone he number. He took Donnie's phone number. Because he really, he really thought I had... I had Catherine Hepburn down really good. He thought that was an excellent Catherine Hepburn. And I, you know, I so, saw... You know, he just thought that was fantastic. But he gave me, uh, last year's shirt, this year he wanted to give me oxen shoes. Now, an ox does not have a full hoof like a horse does, so it doesn't look like a horseshoe. Ox shoes look like this. These are ox shoes. And the, the ox hoof they have split has, a, has a split in the center, so that it looks like that. 
So I put it in my pocket. But when I took it out of my pocket and grabbed it, I pulled it out of my pocket like this. And then I, I thought, well, let me straighten them out. And I went, oh my goodness, look at that. Donnie, Donnie thought that looked like the fish. That's the, that's the fish. <laughs> Isn't that something that two ox hoof is the fish? <laughs> I thought, I wonder if he knows that. So <laughs> you're watching, buddy. There you go. I call him Festus still. I, I saw his real name on the, on the, um, thing uh, no, thing for memories but his show's not starting yet he's just kind of like emceeing and and breaking things up between acts right now at the memories theater so you can go see him at the memories theater he does uh, a thing between each act the guy that looks just like fest he looks just and, and then, and then at him, church we didn't recognize him because he's if you see him i did i recognize him if you see him tell him that um uh, uh, Joy and Donnie said hello. And by the way, he calls me Joy Bless Life. <laughs> he actually put our number in his phone as as Joy Blessed. <laughs> yep, because that's how so he him, he says that's, that's how, how I'll thinks, know you. That's how he thinks of me. Yeah. You know, he took Donnie's number and said Joy Blessed. He goes otherwise if I see just a name in there, he goes my mind will say, now did I shoot did I shoot this guy's horse or did I you know, build him a shed, or what, What? who is this guy, what did I do for him? Yeah. So he put, Joy Blessed YouTube as the phone, uh, for the phone number. Uh, hi, Tara. Boy, we had an interesting... Tara's thing. just getting here? Oh, she missed it. You'll have, when you, you'll have to go back and and, and, and watch the, the replay later, Tara. The because Keystone this was, Cop. This was quite, quite an quite a feat here <laughs> <laughs> take a look up well you can't right now you think can you bend it back this is so we are in a shelter that i just put up and uh i figured it out i don't know how i did it terrible directions so they figured it was simple and i guess it was simple enough but this is the pond at our campground you can see a little bubbler out there in the water we found some feed for the ducks, so we put that out for the ducks. I had the bright idea to just said, oh yeah, to say, okay, like, let's go, let's do the live stream, just uh, trying to see um, if uh, put this tent thing together. It's it's kind Mr. of a, it's not a tent you sleep in, just you know, like a cover for the rain a little bit. Yeah, it's open on one side, and there's lots of water already hanging out on the roof because <laughs> I haven't got it set up just right. I suppose that could be tighter, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm going to order a different one so that it's one of the, that that I can just pop open. Because if I want to come set somewhere and you can't it's use raining, this one. I can't put this together myself. Well, you would need it for sun protection anyway. And you and your bugs and flies and mosquitoes, you'd, <laughs> you'd want one that would, you know, protect you good. Tara said, we had one for the beach to give us some shade. Yeah. Yeah. It looks to me a lot like something that'll catch the wind, though, because one end is completely open. But it was interesting, and of course, now that it's up, it quit raining. But it poured while I was putting it up. Does anybody <laughs> need a tent like this? We'll 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 donate it to you. Yeah. We're we'll, not going to ship it to we'll you give though. It, no, we will. It'll, no, no, we're it not. It doesn't cost. It wouldn't cost that much to ship it. It can't be that heavy. Well, it's twenty bucks. I bet it would cost twenty, twenty-five dollars to ship this thing. <laughs> and besides, I don't think I would give it. <laughs> it'd be like, why would I put my? Why would I put this on Maybe somebody? Maybe we'll send it to Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Next time they're in town, yeah. you you got an extra tent. Well, Jason could put it together while he's fish. I mean, before he fishes, and then she could sit under it. Yeah. And have a little bit of have a little bit of protection. Rain or something. Oh, Darcy, we forgot to give you something when you were here too. Oh yeah, we forgot. We forgot to give you your Bucky's nuggets. Yeah. We were going to give them to you the last day you were here, and you got cut short. Hope all that totally worked out. to grab it. Yeah. Do you want to walk around at all, or are we just going to sit here till the end? Yeah. Okay, we'll it's just not sit too here. not much more. 
Yeah, so there's there are some big old um, carp in this pond, maybe a bass or two. And um, uh, we've duck, seen a beaver. We've got a we've got a beaver around here the somewhere. Didn't finish eating, so they might come back whenever. Yep, they'll come Jimmy back. Jimmy said that it's letter. getting dark, so they'll go to roost somewhere. So they're yeah, so they. Got so, so they're. Yeah, they'll go sit. They're away, away from the. Um, They'll be away from any kind of coyote. I know. They're such silly ducks. They, do, they don't go out in the water. Darcy said she forgot about the the Bucky's nuggets, too. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I did this. Bearhug said the grass is so pretty and green. Yep. Things are coming back to life. The Hi, crocus Angel. and the tulips and everything else are happening. Uh, Angel said... Hi, Joy and Donnie. You look very relaxed camping and feeding the ducks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. He does catch and release. Yeah. They, they're mm -hmm. a heck of a fight, I'll tell you. Mercy, <laughs> a good reason to go back and visit soon. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, let's let's show them the painting again. Yeah. Okay, so here's the painting. Can you see it? It's kind of a tropical one. Oh, let me see. With a waterfall back there. And I think that's a mountain. Right there. So this is going to be and... this is going to be a giveaway tonight to somebody that's here in the chat with us. So, let me see if I can come up with a number. Um, Donnie, how about this number right here? The last two digits. Okay, I see them. Okay. All right, we have agreed on the last two digits. All right. So. And you don't, I don't need my light now. I know. Can you watch? Can you watch this for the, um, can you watch in here to look for the number while I look on my phone for the number? Uh, well, I've got, I've got it on my phone already. Yeah, we're. I've got oh. the chat on my phone. Okay. Okay, so go. Start your numbers between 1 and 50. Between 1 and 50. We're about to end this, uh, uh. Tara, she said she's home, heading to bed shortly. We're about to end this. So, Donnie, hit start. All right, between 1 and 50. Okay, there's the first number, 17, 27. Don't give hints. No hints. Oh, there, there it, it is. is. Here's, Here's your, your chance. chance, 23. The number was 23. 23 skidoo. <laughs> Congratulations. Here's your chance. Yep. Here's the painting again. Hold that. Oh. Here's the painting you just won again. Well, a little shiny there. There, there. We get the shine off of that. And the ducks are back. Yeah, I painted that about two weeks ago. Okay, so did you send us? I think you you, I think you won something. Did you send us your address? It said here's your chance. Said love that it's beautiful. Did you already send us your address? Because you have to send it to the e to our email or something because so we can mail this out. Donnie uh, hasn't mailed out the stuff from was that a week ago? Mm-hmm. Dylan, yeah. that's two weeks now. Uh, what you, um, uh, Geo. We'll do that when we get home. No, I think, didn't we do the... Um, the last thing we mailed out was a box No, of, didn't we do the live stream from the St. Patrick's Day last weekend in, oh, the, oh, that one. in the RV? Yeah. yeah, that's when the one other stuff... Yeah, those haven't been mailed out yet. Okay, so here's our chance that I forgot to... Uh, so, Dar um, Tara just put the email address in. Here's your chance. And if Ruby, Rushing Wind Mountain, watches this on the replay. Um, Thank you, Tara, for putting the email in. We need your email address as well because um, Donnie painted a painting for her. 
and Ruby. Ruby from Rushing Wind Mountain, and we cannot find her address anywhere. Yeah, and I've I've seen her in the comments, and I've I've we just done a reply, we, but I didn't get a reply we back. To, yeah. So congratulations. <laughs> Here's your chance. <laughs> she says thank you. I'll email you all. You all. That's y'all. Oh yeah. You. Here's your chance. One across from from. The, one of those little crosses. Ah, she did that too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, now we'll put them together. Yeah. The ducks came back. Yeah. Maybe they had to digest. Looks like this kind of duck food is meant to be in a pan or something that they can get it out and not get lost in the grass. We are enjoying, I'll tell you, we are enjoying um giving away these paintings um we don't have room to just in the rv anyway to just leave them set around forever um and so donnie's starting to touch up some of the paintings that he had done on his live stream previously and if you haven't um if you haven't subscribed to donnie's channel um Appreciate if you do subscribe to his channel. Hopefully Nightbot is working and will leave the link or something to Storyteller Donnie. Because he does the live streams where he's... Um, I'm just thankful people these. are chiming in to win. That just yeah. blesses my heart that, that you all, guys all want the painting. Thank you, Annette. She said you two are very giving people. All right. It didn't... <laughs> If, I don't know if a moderator can leave Donnie's link in the chat just in case somebody can. Let me put the word artist in. I did, and it didn't work. So oh, Nightbot is Maybe. not working. Oh, stream only stream elements, huh? Nightbot is not working for some reason. Let me see if I can do it. Well, that's. Can they click on my storyteller Donnie comment no, right there? No, only if they're a moderator. Oh. There's Misha. She did it. Thank she you, got Misha. It. Misha. Thank you. I so always much. think of that movie um, Wally when I see Misha's name. Bear hug said. Misha. Eva. Yeah. Bear hug said he's an amazing painter. Uh, love and enjoy watching. Uh, we all appreciate you both, Joy and Donnie. Thank you, Bear hug. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You don't know how much that means. Rhonda, All the things Annette we go asked, through. How's your mom doing? Oh yes. Oh, and um, pray for um, Rhonda's mom too. That's what we're talking about. I thought you said Annette. You just I said, said Annette's Annette mom. Annette asked Rhonda, "How's oh, your mom Annette doing?" Oh, Annette asked Rhonda. Okay. Donnie I, I thought it was Rhonda's has mom. Has hearing issues. <laughs> I thought it was Rhonda's mom, not Annette's. You know, so yeah, caught me on that. Oh, one. by the way, um, uh, prayers appreciated for um, Cynthia. Cynthia's crafts and more. Um, her, um, her, her son, uh, has been heaving and they took him to urgent care. Um, her husband's doing fine, but Cynthia has an abscess in her, in her tooth and she, um, uh, she's, they put her on antibiotics, but the antibiotics were messing her up and making her loose and everything else. So she is, she's. Like she's, she's a root canal or she's pull it. She's her son are dealing with it. She, I don't know what she. Don't do what, a root canal. Just pull it. Decision. Unless it's a front tooth, <laughs> and you don't want to look like I love Lucy. If it's just a pull back it. tooth, you might, because there's because some, there's some, there's some bad reports about root canals and caps are canals. thousands of dollars. So, um, so appreciate uh, prayers for uh, Cynthia's crafts and more. Cynthia's crafts and more. In Jesus' yeah. name, we plead the blood of Jesus over that infection. Thank you, Lord, for the human body. Uh, immunities to take care of that and clean that up in Jesus name thank you Lord. Thank go you. buy a buy a box of um, SAMe SAM E it helps cleanse your liver and clear up infections yeah thank you okay thank you all for joining us we've yep, been on here an dark. hour doing this goofy, <laughs> this, goofy this, this cluster <laughs> oh my goodness I'm gonna have to sit here for a while okay, just to enjoy it. my hard work Rhonda said uh, they had to call 911 yesterday because her mom had fallen again and they took her to the hospital because her walker 
hit her forehead and it was bleeding. Thank you, Lord, for steadiness for Rhonda's mom and healing on that forehead issue. Thank you, Lord, for coordination between her brain and her body. All Jesus connections name. are established. To the glory of God. Glory of God, because the body works on electricity. If you've got a short circuit, it doesn't want to work. So just thank you, Lord, that you know the connection between brain and brain and the rest of the body. Because honestly, people, you live in your head. You live in your skull. That's where you are. You've got eyes that let in light and a nose that lets in air and a mouth that lets in food and ears that let in sound, but you are not your body. You are inside your skull. Deaf, blind, dumb, and sightless without your body. Okay. So be blessed. Thank you for Bless watching your bodies. us and hitting the like and sharing our videos out and everything because you all are our best uh, promotion PR team. And our you're friends. You're our best PR team and you're our friends. And you make me feel and good. I when appreciate you, that. If you come to the Smoky Mountains, we would love to meet with you and stuff on or off camera. If you don't want to be on camera, we might just take a photograph together. Otherwise, you know, like Scott and Tara, they don't mind being on camera, but not everybody likes it. So we've met with people and not had it on camera, and that's totally fine. But um, we love you. We love you. But, but Jesus, Jesus loves, loves you more. more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Tara, remind, turn your clocks ahead. Yeah, don't listen to Mac. <laughs> yeah. Southern Bless Home said he's telling everyone to turn their clocks back. He's saying you fall back. He said fall forward. Yeah, and, he said fall and forward. And spring ahead is what he's saying. He's, <laughs> he's, like, he's telling everyone the wrong thing. He's telling everybody. Yeah. Over there on that side. Okay. Thank you, thank good you. Good night, thank good you. night, good night. Miss you, miss you. Till the next time.